Welcome back into Tide and Tigers. We're in the kitchen with Rebecca yes. Gordon with buttermilk lipstick. What do you got for us today, Rebecca? Yes, I'm so we excited. Have this a is lot, be good. The ultimate game day brunch is what we're going to be talking about today, and we've got a lot going on. So we've got a mimosa over here. <laughs> we've got some X's and O's with our ice ring, and we've X's got. And O's. Have you heard that new song, X's and O's? No, I haven't. Awesome. Okay, we're going to make some muffins, though. Okay. So what I want to do is do a jalapeno cheddar uh, game day muffin, and we're going to put a little sausage in the middle. Yes. So I've got Call all my... pigs now. Yeah, a little pigs now <laughs> goes in the center. So in the bowl, we've got all our dry ingredients. We're going to add mm -hmm. our eggs, buttermilk. Yeah, can we add them both at one yeah, time? Yeah, go ahead and add them Boom. at one time. And we're going to add jalapenos in there, a little honey for some sweetness. Yeah, all right. And then to go along with these muffins um, that we're going to bake in the oven, we're, you know, we're, we're going to eat the competition. We're eating the mascot today <laughs> yes. on behalf of Alabama. Homecoming. It's always good when we play Arkansas to eat the mascot. Right. So, you know, one of the easiest things you can do is pick up pulled pork, brown off sausage, some bacon, and then add some pimento cheese or some cheese and some other uh, toppings, and people can put that over grit. Wow. that you make in the slow cooker oh, overnight. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now that you're good and going over here, yeah. um, I want you to fold that cheddar in, okay. by the way. Fold. And then we're going to check back in with you. I have to fold the cheddar. Okay. And now to the fun part. We are fold doing this mimosa. It's a pineapple mimosa. It's very easy to do. Okay. I have a quart of orange sherbet in here. Sherbet. With a little bit of pineapple juice. And we're going to add some orange juice to that. Okay. Put the lid on, and you just whirl that thing up like Let's nobody's business. Let's do it. All right. So mm -hmm. I've just pushed the start button. And then of course, once that's nice and blended, we'll put this in a simple bowl or any kind of container that you want to serve this in. And we'll add a bottle of champagne to that. Wow. To make it mimosa delicious. That sounds awesome. I think that we're done over I here. I believe so. Just wanted to make sure it was good and blended. Yeah. Okay, so put that in our bowl. And then oh, one okay. of the easiest things you can do is make some X's and O's um, ice cubes. So you can make these those any so color. Cute. We could I make them those. crimson if we wanted to. But I thought we would um, do this in honor of Auburn today since they're not playing. Hey, we can't lose to nobody today. It's awesome. Yeah. Hey, you so, all I've done is taken um, some X cookie cutters and put them into an eight inch cake pan, poured a little orange juice over the top, froze that, and then you get these fun little X's. And then I used a donut um, pan. <laughs> a donut. Oh, a donut pan. A donut pan to That's make right. our little blue ones, which I, um, I made some Kool Aid, which I hadn't had in about. 25 years, <laughs> but it's delicious. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it is good. Okay, let's check back in over here with Roger. How are right. your Ooh. muffins going? I think I'm good. I think I'm ready to scoop and go. Okay, let's scoop some out. Okay. And then um, once you stuff. scoop them out, you want them into a lightly greased uh, mini muffin tins. And I'm going to put a little mini um, pig snout in the center of each okay. one. Okay. Oh, you're doing good. No, well, keep going. You. you keep going. You I'm going to do it. Got them. All right. And all I've done is taken just regular breakfast link sausage and cut those into small pieces, put them in the center, and these will bake at 400 degrees mm -hmm. for about 13 to 15 minutes. Right. So if you mix together all of your dry ingredients with the leavening the night before, you can bake these all very easily the day of your, your brunch get together. That's right. And all I think right. the great thing about a brunch is that it can be served all day long. And Rebecca Gordon, this is where you can go, buttermilklipstick.com. It's easy. Love All it. the recipes are there from today. And, right. oh, look at that pretty picture. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, Rick, we're going to bring you a couple pig snouts. We yeah. are. Awesome.